Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com, new Windows 11 build. This is 22000.160 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel and beta channels. Once again, they're both... Uh, both channels get the same build that could change soon so if you want to stay on the more stable builds of windows 11 then you should be on the beta channel if you want the very latest things then go on the dev channel so here are my surface go i'm on the the dev channel i should also mention as well that you the isos are now available so if you want to try a clean install of uh, windows 11 you can get um 22000.132 last week's build as an iso and do a, a clean install and uh, I've got links and all the information on that on the digitallifestyle.com. Okay, so what's new in this build? Well, we've got an update to the clock app that has um, focus assist, um, or focus sessions built into it, so that you can, um, so you can work on a, on a session for say 30 minutes and get some music and alerts. I've not tried this yet, so I'm going to give this a, a go for the first time. So this is the app. This is the updated clock app. So I can do get started and um in linked in with this is to do and um your progress of the of your task from to do and you can link to spotify as well so you can sign in here to your spotify account so here you can see the spotify integration it's got a couple of podcasts i've been listening to recently or i can choose some music I'll try only to get a little bit of this music because I want to get copyrighted on YouTube for that. So I can say choose some music and um, I can say I want a 15 minute session and it plays music and uh, then will set me an alert. Uh, it'll notify when that time's up. So you can focus on a task and you can complete, you know, check the task you can sign in with to do. So you can start that going. It'll say give, it'll notify you when the music will stop when it finishes, and uh, you can link it in with your to-do account as well. So you can tick off the accounts as you uh, tick off your uh, tasks as you're doing them. And there's little things in it. You can set um, daily progress. You can set goals and that kind of thing. So interesting to try and spend a bit more time with it. But I'll, I'll give that a try. So that's the new uh, clock uh, with the uh, focus sessions built in. The rest of the changes are fairly fairly minor. You may have seen uh, when you have an update and it says update and restart, and it'll say on there, if, if I was to uh, click on here and add an update pending, it might say update, restart, estimated five minutes or something like that. It, what they've done is if you've got an old... Uh, spinning hard drive then they've taken that away so it's just we're going to work for SSDs the um, they said they're working to bring that back as well so it's just that they're uh, ironing out the bugs on that SSDs are much faster than the spinning drives and probably, probably uh, predict them better um, and they've done they fixed some issues where the um, location icon was showing in task 5 even though you may have turned it off as well so that's the other change the rest of things are known issues, really. That that's on their um, on the beta channel. Some people are not seeing the new taskbar on start menu, and if that's on the previous build, and there's an update you can if you go to Windows Update update, uh, you can remove an update. They're also working on a fix for um, a uh, bug check because on on the Surface Pro X. Um, there's some issues with start where the run might not work and taskbar might flicker and there's some issues with search where it may not open and you have to uh, restart the Windows Explorer process if you do that so you know you, you click on here nothing happens I did have this once and if you go into task manager and then task uh, Windows Explorer it restarts and everything works and there's some issues with Bluetooth as well That's most of the issues anyway. You can read the rest on the digitallifestyle.com. But everything else seems to be working quite well on here. I've got my uh, widgets working, um, apart from the family safety. I've been using this on a couple of devices now, and on the beach channel certainly you can almost use it as your daily device. I wouldn't perhaps put it on, on, on your main device just yet, but maybe once you get to release preview, but certainly everything's been pretty stable in here, not had any major issues. And it's good to see. So not much change in this one. That's uh, build... 
at 220.160. We know Android apps or anything like that yet. We've just seen these uh, minor changes. So let's hope we get those soon. So thanks for watching this video. You can find me on the dislifestyle.com at iStixon on Twitter.